Okay, Michelle, brine veal chops today. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. So we're gonna start with just toasting some fennel seeds. Okay. And so we have our, our pot on, medium heat. As soon as those toast, we're gonna throw in bay leaves and thyme, our peppercorns, and then salt, brown sugar, not too much, um, onions, and half of our water. And all we're doing is dissolving it. Okay. We don't want to do anything more than that. And now we have orange juice. And so that's why, our little... Why are there ice cubes in the orange juice? To cool this down. Okay. So we can throw our veal right in it. <laughs> and so we're just gonna go ahead and cool our mixture down. We're gonna put our veal chops in a bowl. You could use loin cuts. But you want them to be about you know an inch and a half thick. Okay. If you use the loin, just have a bit of an inch and a half thick. This is also delicious with pork chops. Okay. Because the orange, the brown sugar, all these flavors go great with pork chops, and actually our whole our whole dish goes really well with pork chops. So I, I've made pork chops before, so I know now you have. <laughs> now I can get it. We're gonna go ahead and just pour that over the top, and place it in the fridge overnight. Okay. All right, Michelle. So we have our veal chops that have gone overnight. They, and can, they look different, actually. Well, yeah, the salt, um, you know, uh, gives them a little tiny bit of cure, obviously, and gives them a little brine. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to just pepper this because we salted it heavily already. Let's get it started. I like to get it started on the stove, doesn't matter, you can actually just have it in a 400 degree oven just to make sure you've got, you know, you've got the heat yeah. where you want it to get those marks. You get the sizzle and we're going to go right in the oven. Okay, Michelle, so we're going to just give them a quick turn to get, to get our beauty marks, to get our tattoos. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> See, that's an extra step that I wouldn't have thought of doing at home. <laughs> So I think we're ready to flip. Oh, that looks perfect. Nice marks. How long on each side? About six minutes, um, four to six minutes on each side. We want this to cook really consistent the whole way through. All right, so Michelle, very important letting our meat rest, right? Yes. We all need rest. Yes, Everyone even our needs meat rest. needs rest. <laughs> But we're gonna go ahead and cut right along the bone. And we've rested really well. Oh, you know, wow. it's, our juice isn't running all over the place. And This looks incredible. Look at this guy right here. So the brining, you know, besides flavoring it, should make it a little more tender and juicy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Salt. It's no, salt? it's actually, no? I'm like, no, <laughs> perfectly seasoned. <laughs> it's really, really delicious. Great, mm. great. All right, veal chops. I'm making it at home now, there's no excuse. Get your grill pan out, Michelle. I will, <laughs> I promise. Thank you. <laughs>